everybody, this is PhD Podcast number four. We are here with Grace Kim, the president of FBLA Club, and it was very hard for us to bring Grace here to this spot, mainly because it was very hard for fine for us to find our house, and outside is crazy, it's been snowing, raining, 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 and it's black ice everywhere, so don't <laughs> die today. We almost died, almost crashed to death. Um, she was born in June 14th, uh, she is currently single, she was born in North Carolina, not South Korea, um, so Grace, would you like to briefly introduce yourself? Um, hi, my name is Grace, um, I'm 100% Korean, uh, I was born in America, and I can't speak Korean, I can't really like, you know, talk in Korean, yeah, anyways, um, I'm an only child. I have a dog. It's really lazy and it likes to eat a lot. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much me. So, um, you were born in North Carolina, huh? Mm-hmm. And how long have you lived there? Um, until like sixth grade. Sixth so grade? When I moved here. Until I moved here, yeah. And how was that transitioning from North Carolina? Uh, Cal State <laughs> to Northern Virginia, the almost the capital of the nation. Um, well, one thing I noticed, there's a lot more Asians here. So I was like, whoa. Whoa, yeah, as in like, good thing or like, whoa, Asians? I mean, like, yeah, well, like, there's so many Asians. Because, like, in North Carolina, I was, like, the only Asian. Really? Yeah. Tell us a funny episode that you went through in North Carolina. Um, mm, I don't Just like know anything. Answer. Who was your best friend? Um, there's a girl named Hannah Washington. Hannah Washington, yeah. and I feel like she's white. And, uh, she's half black, half white. Half black, half white. Yes. Okay, and? And, yeah, we used to hang out a lot. Oh, okay, here's a funny thing. Okay. Okay, so... I, I mean, I guess it's still a stereotype now, but like, uh, when I was younger, I used to be so scared of like Mexican people. I'm sorry. To <laughs> I was so afraid of them. Whoa, wait! Before, before you go on, why why were you afraid of them? Because there was an article in like the local newspaper uh-huh. about like there these Mexicans in a white van and they're like <laughs> okay. coming around kidnapping people. Okay. And like. Usually in fifth grade, I would have to um, just come home and stay by myself until my parents come because they work. And then one time, like like my window in my room is can see the driveway. It's where the driveway is. And then one time, there was a white van pulling up into my driveway. Oh my I looked God. at it. I was so scared. I was like flipping out. And then, oh my God. When? How old were you? I was in fifth grade. Okay. And oh my gosh, that was so scary. And it was like the time when we were like packing up to move to Virginia. Mm-hmm, yeah. And there was like real estate agents coming in. Uh-huh, I didn't uh-huh, know. Uh-huh. But they were in that white van, but I was still freaking out, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right? So I like hid under the, like under my bed sheet. Okay. And then I was listening to see if anybody was like in my house, right? And then I heard footsteps. And because like the, the real estate yeah, agent was bringing yeah. people in, and I heard people talking, and they just so happened to be Hispanic and started speaking <laughs> in Spanish. I was so scared. And then, and then they opened my room. I remember that. Okay, at this point, I was like hiding behind the door. Oh my god! And then, and then the lady was like, "So this is the one of the bedrooms." I was like, "But in Spanish, like como estas?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bedroom. Yeah. Oh. Esta. Oh. And then I forget what happened from there. I think I like, I don't know. Pass out. Probably. Maybe, yeah. yeah. It's probably why I don't remember. Wow, and, and did you tell uh, Washington, Miss Washington about this? Um, I, I guess so. I might have. I, I know I told my parents. Oh, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and what did they say? My Just parents? laugh, yeah. Yeah, they were laughing. They were like, Grace, you need to grow up. <laughs> 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 oh wow and you are the only daughter only child mm-hmm. how's that for you um i mean i don't really know what it's like to have like a sibling so i mean have you ever wished for a sibling yeah 
you have? Yeah. Brother, yeah. sister, younger yeah, like one. Older brother. Uh, so you haven't had any uh, uh, like same jackets with Miss Washington or anything like that? Or no. same tricycles? No, that's no. Sophia's thing. Oh, so. okay. Uh, but yeah, we would hang out a lot. And yeah. I miss Hannah, so if Hannah ever sees this, yeah. hi. Contact Grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's move to North Virginia. Northern Virginia, Northern not North Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> Northern Virginia. Um, did you move to Haymarket, this house? Yeah. This so house. you lived here for quite a while now? Yep. And how was that? How was the transition? I mean, okay, so it was like, you know, I didn't really know a lot of people when I first went to school and everything. And, you know, I was kind of scared because, like, in fifth grade, you're all about, you know, wanting to have a lot of friends. And then when I got up here, I was like, Nobody likes me and stuff. In, in sixth grade, I was like a complete jerk. Like some people will know that. Anyways, like, um, but like I was not friendly to anybody. I couldn't make friends with anybody, and I was like stuck at home most of the time. And then at that time, like in sixth grade, I was still afraid of Mexican people. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and and were there more uh, Hispanic people here in Northern Virginia or in North Carolina? Definitely North Carolina. Okay. But, I mean, like there still, are still like, people. Yeah. Yeah. So you were just afraid of those brown yeah. uh, Hispanics, yeah. even in school, like even amigos and amigas? Well, no, just like, you know, anybody in a white van. That, that just <laughs> freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the transition was pretty hard for you. Yeah. And you had no, you have no siblings and you were yeah. pr pretty lonely. Yeah. And how, how, why were you such a jerk? What do you mean when you say that? You, I was a jerk. I don't, I don't, I don't get know. It. I was just like really mean to people. And I'm really sorry if whoever I like, you know, cursed out. Wait, but, cursed uh, out? I don't, I don't see it. Like, I don't curse anymore, but. You, you anyway. cursed out? To, uh, uh, I'm lost of words right now because the Grace Kim that I know is always smiling and always just like. Dancing and orchestraing <laughs> and, and always afraid of the Mexicans, but now she's telling me that that was only in sixth grade. Uh, only in only sixth grade, and, and then I changed. And yeah, then and I then. changed because I I made some really nice friends, and I wanted to be nice to them. You know. Okay, so you are you're saying that you are just na naturally a mean person. I was, yeah. And the nurture changed you. Yeah. So who are those friends? Let's let's get those names. Hmm. So in sixth grade, um, Irene. You know Irene. Right? Irene she, Park. Yeah. She was like my best friend. Okay. And she still is. Yeah. Um. And then I met Christina Kim. Uh huh. She, she moved to, to Korea. Yeah. Um, and then us three were like you know, the gang. We were like the gang. always together in seventh grade. And then, um, and then in eighth grade, I met Sophia and Helen, and like all the other Asian guys in my grade. And then we all got close really quickly because we're Asian. You know, everybody knows each other when they're Asian. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, and actually, I knew Ken ever since sixth grade, right? Remember that? Yeah. Remember we had like lockers right next to each yeah. other because you know Komine Kim, yeah. I guess you've learned how important the friend friends are mm -hmm. since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How how important are they? How they're they're really important to me. You know, they're they're all I have. You know. <laughs> all you have. All I have. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Well, I, I'm also a single child, so I, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Friends are very important, and mm -hmm. and when you get close to somebody, you just wanna give everything you have, you know? Yeah. Like, you, you love them too much. Yeah. Yeah, I love you, Grace. Yeah, I love you too, Jane. Okay, so I did some profiling. Oh. Okay, so you like taking pictures and making funny GIF images. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess so. are they like your hobby? Maybe like a main hobby? Because I, I see a lot of funny mm. GIFs. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, one time I just posted the status about, you know, just if you like it, then I'll make a funny gift for you. Uh -huh. And that was like the only only time I like made a lot. Uh huh. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, it's fun. It's so fun. so what? How do how would you define pictures? Mm, I don't know. Something I don't. To me, pictures they all look the same, <laughs> except we're just wearing different outfits, you know. <laughs> 
And now, finally, to your high school life. Now you became a freshman. You are a freshman, two thousand ten. And how was was it very nerve wracking for you, or how、uh, was it? Not really, actually. When I went from fifth grade to sixth grade, that was like like. Oh, eighth graders are huge, but then now it's just like, oh, seniors, huh? Mustache, whatever. You know, just like、uh, <laughs> I've so, seen enough, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you did you go to the student orientation, freshman orientation?、Mm-hmm. Did you didn't feel anything like something special, or weren't you like nervous or?、Mm. No, I was just like, well, there's a lot of people. <laughs> That's about it.、And、were you with your friend that day? Yeah, I mean, like. The freshman orientation, we had to like split up into groups. They assigned us to groups, and I didn't really talk to anybody because nobody was in my group.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, freshman orientation was just like, like we just walked around school. Yeah, but I've already been to like Battlefield a lot before for like、oh. orchestra concerts and stuff.、Oh, so okay. Yeah, it, it was. So when did that orchestra life start for you? Um, I started violin in、oh. sixth grade. Okay. So, because like the reason why I started was in fifth grade when I was in North Carolina, there were people coming like from middle school as like an orientation,、uh-huh. oh, yeah. and they just did like they demonstrated like playing on instruments and stuff. And I was like, I want to play the violin, so I signed up to do orchestra in sixth grade. Wow, that sounds interesting. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> why you started violin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how do you like it? Do you think you made a good choice, or? Well, yeah, because like you know, like、uh, I guess I just like one year I just wanted to like practice a lot, and I I think I came long way with violin.、Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so when you're transitioning from middle school to high school,、uh, mm-hmm. there weren't any difficulties, and you were just one of those famous kids. Yeah, you could say so. So you're popular. Yeah, Wait, did definitely. Did they did? Did you start dance at that time, or? <laughs> um, I don't really know when I started dancing. Like, what were you popular for? In high school? No, in when you're in, making that transition from middle school to high school. Oh, um, uh, probably you know just like my looks, you know,、oh. they're just so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, I remember. From eighth grade to ninth grade, I had like from in eighth grade I had really long hair, right?、And、I had glasses. They're like people called me Harry Potter because I had like these circular,、uh-huh, circular、yeah. glasses.、Mm-hmm. I've then, seen them on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I bet you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like, just like in the summer of like eighth grade to ninth grade,、mm-hmm. I wanted to change up so much. So I cut my hair up to like here. It was worst. Decision I ever made. Also, <laughs> I cut it up to here, and then I started wearing contacts, and yeah, a new life started. A new life started. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so all the the transitioning from North Carolina to Virginia and all that middle school high school transition was nothing compared to this. Yeah. yeah. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So you cut your hair. You. Put that lens in.、Um, yeah. How hard was it for you to put the lens in? Because you're Asian and you have. Oh, it was so hard because I. So I got my lens in Korea, right?、Mm-hmm. Wait, then, Korea comes in now.、Uh, Did you visit Korea before? Okay, you... okay. So this is what happened. Like I had lenses when I was in seventh grade,、mm-hmm. but I never wore it because, like, you know. Okay. Didn't I? I felt like I didn't like look. I wasn't comfortable with my look with lenses in seventh grade. So I started wearing it in eighth grade. Well, eighth grade summer. So that's when you started feeling confident about、yeah. yourself, and what, what, how, why, like, what, I, what made that I change? Because I had more friends. Oh, you had more friends, yeah, and I had more friends. And so, so you, so you woke up one day, and then went into the bathroom, and then you looked at yourself, and suddenly you're just like, bam! I'm so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that that happened to me like, twenty、uh, four hours ago, actually. <laughs> so I'm so confident right now. Okay. <laughs> Right, so let's continue on. Uh. <laughs> 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 continue on with the story. So yeah, I went to Korea in seventh grade. But anyways, the back to like how I you know tried putting、uh-huh. it in in Korea. 
there was this ajumma, you know, the work person who was working there, and <laughs> she was like, "Okay, sweetie." Well, in Korean, of course. Oh, she's yeah. like, Open up your eyes just a little bit. So I did this, and she's like, "Open it a little more." I was like, "This is as far as it can go, right?" <laughs> and yeah, she's yeah. like, "Uh, you're gonna have some trouble later on. Just make sure." You know, you open it and then stick it in really quickly. So that's, you know, I mean, sticking it in was really like, it was easier than taking it out. Like I said, I spent 30 minutes on each eye trying to take it out. Uh, okay, so ninth grade, um, you're just in your mind and, and you actually are, but in your mind, you're just this perfect girl. Yeah. So how, how hard... I feel like there would be so much pressure on you to keep that image every day and just like to study hard as well. Did you study hard on freshman year? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Like, I didn't have bad grades, so... Was it all A's? It was eh, a B because of Algebra 2 trick. Oh, I just yeah. Out, and then I went to Algebra 2 and I ended up with a B, so... So were you one of those students who tried to make it to like Thomas Jefferson High School and stuff? No. Like, I mean, my mom, she was like, so in eighth grade, about like a couple months before the test, she was like, you should, you should, you know, um, try out for TJ, right? I was like, what's TJ? <laughs> She's like, the best high school in the world. I was like, <laughs> okay. And then I got my results back. It was like, I think 6% on the test, so <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, uh, let's take a moment and... Uh, say something to your mom about that moment. <laughs> you should have prepared me a little more, like, beforehand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I'm just, like, not smart enough <laughs> to go into TJ. Okay, so your freshman year wasn't that hard academically, and and what kind of... Were you interested in clubs in, during your freshman year? Um, I think I did key club. Because, you know, every other agent mm -hmm. did Key Club. <laughs> and then, um, oh, I did FBLA. Oh, so, so this is when FBLA started. Yeah. How did, how did that interest start for you? How, how did you start that <laughs> hobby? So, my homeroom teacher, actually, she spent a whole class period, like, giving us a slideshow presentation on FBLA, because she was the, one of the advisors okay, uh -huh. for it. I was like, oh. She says it looks good on college applications, so mind as well do it. And then I, like, did a leadership position. Mm -hmm. I just did historian because that was like really easy. And, yeah. Mm. And I heard you are a big advocate of dark chocolates. Yeah. And that is why we have prepared this uh, dark chocolate covered delicious <laughs> uh, popcorn, and I bought it after work just for you. Oh, thank you. And today's mission is actually uh, for you to, since you didn't eat, uh, miss out on school lunch and stuff, and uh, you didn't get that nutrition, I want to fill it up with sugar. <laughs> 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 so, uh, we've uh, prepared uh, this delicious popcorn, and uh, there you go. Here's one. Here's thank one you. for you. Do and, I eat it? Yep. And here's one for you again. <laughs> And here's one for you again. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, your freshman year, academically and 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 club club wise, it was very good year, and you made that transition from middle school and high school, and the hair cutting, all that thing, and you you gained confidence, and you knew you were one of the best looking girls in school, mm -hmm. and you were just like, oh, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I know how that feels. Okay, so <laughs> now let's talk about your sophomore year, which is a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be, you you probably have that memory mm -hmm. uh, pretty vividly. Mm -hmm. Yes, so mm -hmm. we're gonna go into it. Mm -hmm. Go in. Okay, so I did some profiling again. Um, were you in chorus mm -mm. in sophomore? Okay, so, so you joined Facebook on March. Uh, we're not gonna talk about sophomore year right now, actually, because my phone tells me not to, and it says you joined Facebook on March March twenty first, two thousand eight, and and this is very interesting here because it says first post by Grace was Grace is very bored on June sixteenth of two thousand eight. Uh, second post by Grace was Grace is very bored, and third post by Grace was Grace is very bored. So, 
Oh, very bored? Yeah, oh. so all three posts was Grace is very bored mm-hmm. and, and our last interviewee, uh, Sophia Kim's uh, Hers is worse because on Christmas Day she was like, oh, Sophia Kim is very bored So why were you very bored? Is it, is it because you moved or? Mm-hmm. I mean, it was 2008 That's when you gained your confidence and all your friends mm. I don't know Maybe it was like the start of gaining so you know i was still like at home all alone have nothing to do and yeah so you're just sad life what do you do when you're bored i go on the computer or play with my doggy and poke it because i like poking my dog or i like messing with it (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) all right awesome um you have facebook twitter tumblr myspace yeah, how do they impact you in life? Like, I feel like it would take up so much of your time and and and, and the procrastination will slowly come. <laughs> right? How, how, well, how? you know, like, people just can't, like, get enough of me because, you know, too, I'm too amazing. So, you know, so I had to make, like, a whole bunch of blogging sites and Twitter uh-huh. and everything so people can always, like, Probably. stay up to date with me, you know. I mean, you're, we're being really serious here, and no sarcasm at all. Oh. Oh. What impact? What impact? That, that's why you made it? That's, that's oh, exactly why? <laughs> Alright, for real? For real. Um, cause I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were- oh! It relates to everything, I get it now. Okay. So you joined uh, Facebook on the March of 21st and you joined Twitter on August 10, 2010 um, and your new discovery in music is indie pop and you love it so much nowadays, right? Um, give us several artists that you like. Um, um, Ellie Goulding, I love her and Florence and the Machine is always a favorite. Have you heard of them? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, Marina and the Diamonds is always good. Uh, yeah. And, like and they'll movie. probably be watching this podcast, so if you want to yeah. leave a message for them. Hello. You guys are my favorite, and I listen to you, like, all the time. Even in shower. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I sing to your songs, too, in the shower. Mm-hmm. That's right. And um, <laughs> we're going to explore your first 16 tweets, right? Because that's always fun. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is always fun. And um, okay, so Haven Lim says, LMA O O O O O O O O O O O O O Never ending O. I just retweeted it. What's retweeting anyways? And then and then after right afterwards, uh, like eight minutes later, uh, you it was September twenty fifth of two thousand eleven. It says, thinking I should go to sleep soon like go to <laughs> like together and that was by you okay um, um who is ym kim ym kim that's my mom oh, so your mom tweeted you you too good night <laughs> oh wow so you, does your mom still use twitter yeah she oh. follows a lot of political people well let's so. skip all that and just just go over the tweets that you've posted it says got back from golf practice ate dinner need to start on my hw it was hot today, like <laughs> randomly. <laughs> so that was um, September twenty sixth, two thousand eleven. Um, so you, when did this golf thing start? I, I forgot to mention that golf um, is a big part of your life, right? Yeah, definitely. Like it's the only sport I really play. Like have been playing for a while. So um, I got started with my dad. He took me out to the range one day, and he was like, hit this. And I was like, okay. So I hit it. <laughs> and I, it didn't go anywhere. But I got better, just how, saying. How old were you when you started? Um, Like, first, uh, I think I hit, went out to the range like when I was six. Five, oh, six. wow. Oh, so yeah. this was like a yeah. long-term kind of project for your dad to make <laughs> you the next Korean yeah, star. Yeah. And did that work out? No. Kind of. No, uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, how good are you in terms of golf um, compared to other golfers in our school? Um, well, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not bad, but mm-hmm. I'm not good. So you're so, just like average, mediocre? Yeah, yeah. So do you, did you win any trophies? No. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 we're going to talk about our Twitter a little bit more. Uh, you have retweeted the, the Real Truth 3. Thank God for waking me up to see another day. Wow. That is b- very powerful. Because what I do every time I wake up, I, I take a shower and I, I come out and I, I have this really ghetto sofa in, in my basement because yeah. I take shower in my basement because yeah. the water is pretty strong in the basement. Yeah. So I come out and, and I have a towel around me and nothing else. And I'm just like, I sit there on my ghetto blue sofa and I think of how happy I am to be here right now and, and to have felt the warm water and everything else and, and I'm guessing you're that t- type of person yeah my type of person yeah so you just, just wake very p- deep you know down to earth right yeah, yeah. so you're yeah. happy all the time I'm yeah guessing. yeah um, where do you find that happiness um, <laughs> I don't really know just like just like Okay, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of okays uh, here today at uh, Grace Kim's house. Okay, so your last tweet, um, not last tweet, but one of the last. So your 15th tweet, to be exact, it says, Time to study for my math test tomorrow, then gonna learn a new choreo. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> smiley face. And that was 2011, and, and was that when you were <clears throat> taking Algebra 2? Yeah. Wait, so, no. Wait. September. Depends. September. September. Two. No, that's functions trick. And how was functions trick for you? Uh, it was it was easy, Did I guess. Did you finish yeah. with A? No, I finished with B plus. So you finished with B plus <laughs> and I am guessing you finished with B plus because you tweeted this saying, Time to study for my math test tomorrow, but you never studied. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I was too busy learning the new choreo, you know. And laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a new laugh? Laugh? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was trendy at the time. Trendy. Okay, yeah. so you're too, too, like, you have to be real with me here. And you, do you follow trends? Um, yeah. Like most trends, I guess. And mostly internet trends? Mm. Finally, we're going to jump on to your sophomore year. <laughs> so okay. your sophomore year is when you started robotics team? Mm-hmm. And how was that for you? Like, how, how did robotics team catch your attention um like so when we were doing recommendations from ninth grade my it essential i mean it fundamentals mm-hmm. um she was like she's like you, you know you should do robotics it's gonna be new this mm-hmm. year mm-hmm. And, and so okay and she, <laughs> so i was like okay i'll do robotics and yeah that's how i started robotics but then like i mean it was really fun. There weren't that many girls, but it's okay. Like, There's, like, zero girls in robotics. Yeah. Well, was this it? year, there is. Oh, yeah. But was that a good thing for you or a bad thing? Um, well, like, we did, like, in my freshman year, we did have one girl. Her name was Kila. Um, and, you know, we, were, we got really close because you know, we were the only two girls on the team. And, I mean, it's not like... It's anything bad. It's just, I guess you just learn how to work with guys or <laughs> <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. Um, so, do you have any interest in a certain boy right now? Maybe. 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 You have to say it to the camera. Maybe. Don't tell me, but maybe, maybe is and yes. So, who is this lucky guy? That's the secret, sorry. That's the yeah. secret. Okay. So, sophomore year, I know that you dated somebody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And because I was a junior when you were a sophomore, and I, I was with him in the class, and, and, and when we get into relationship stories, a lot of tears come out, and it gets really emotional. But um, how, how did you guys meet? So if we're talking about the same person, I think we're talking I, about. I know we're talking about the same person. Yeah, the Taekwondo guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at that time, you took a picture of me when I didn't know you. Oh yeah. That time, right? Yeah. That time. Yeah, that time. What was the question? How'd you meet him? Hmm. Well, 
we were in orchestra together, I guess. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's how we met. You so. were in orchestra, and that's how you guys met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're just in orchestra, yeah. and he approached you, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. And so he was like, tap tap, and then you just like look back, and then you're like, oh my god, <laughs> oh, I, no. it's it's not detailed enough. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Draw that image. How how'd you guys? Did he just approach you and like be like, "Hey, girl," or something <laughs> like that? You gotta tell me the details. I don't really remember. We were just like, and, and, "Hello," <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and did your parents know about this? Did your parents know about the relationship? But yeah, cause I told my mom everything. Maybe not my dad, cause my mom just tells my dad anyways. Okay, <laughs> so. so. Did your mom say, okay, he's a good boy, and... Mm, my mom was like, um, Grace, you should study more, not, you know... Not go, yeah, get into go, it. Yeah. Yeah, and... and yeah, so it's it, just true. Was it a good memory? Did you guys make good memories? Well, yeah, like, yeah. Like what? I don't, like, you know, just like, good memories. Good. It was good. It was good. It, it was good. And then, how did that good things end. Good things come to an end, and how did it end for you? Um, well, it's just like, you know, it's better for just friends, you know, because like, yeah, it's just better. I guess we realized, like, we didn't really have to be in any kind of relationship, you know, it's just, just like a good friendship, so. So you guys weren't mad or anything at each other? Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice way to end a relationship. Yeah. Okay, so sophomore year, uh, did that relationship impact your academic life? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, a little bit, I guess, because, you know, I was, like, kind of, like, half focused, like, on the relationship, and the other half, I was, like, actually, I wasn't really concentrating on my studies, but, it, <laughs> like, yeah, it did, in a way. And, and sophomore year is when you really have to study because that's when you really get your AP classes and pre-AP classes. Mm -hmm. um, how was that for you? How, was it hard for you to be in those classes or...? Um, no, actually, like, I took a lot of classes within my interest because I wanted to see what I want to do this year, my junior year. And so I even took, like, an art class and, you know, like, robotics. I did that last year. And it was just, like, a year of exploring what I want to do. And did you find your interest? Um, kind of, you know, I I want to go into definitely in the IT field, so that's, yeah. Okay, um, what, uh, there's, the IT field is so diverse, it's yeah. very big. Yeah. <laughs> so just let's, let's concentrate on one mm. thing. What, what, what kind of thing do you want to do? Actually, it's kind of shifting a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe like more in the business side mm -hmm. of IT, I guess. You just mm -hmm. like accounting or any kind of like just management. Mm -hmm. So okay, maybe um, that's probably what I'm gonna do later. Management. Yeah. So you want to go into business side, not IT. Eh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So you want to get your MBAs? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, what colleges are you thinking to go? Um, definitely want to, you know, apply for UVA. So UVA so, is your dream school? Yeah. So let's, let's leave a message for your UVA admission administrators. It'd be really nice if you could accept me, because <laughs> I'll be a good student. <laughs> and Grace will be a great, a great student, and she'll be a graceful student too. Oh, oh ah, high I five. get that, I get that. Okay, so, um... Your sophomore year was just exploring stuff, and you didn't take any AP or pre-AP classes? Um, I took AP World History. But it was fairly easy? Yeah. Did you finish with a A? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on to her junior year. <laughs> so, your junior year is when you became FBLA president, and it's really, kind of, it's really challenging for a junior to become a president of a club, and mm -hmm. how did that happen? Um, so, like, last year when I was a sophomore, um, I wanted to be a secretary, but then, you know, Mr. Proctor, our advisor, he was like, Grace, you should just be vice president. I was like, okay, okay, so, you know, and then this, like, 
most of the officer team last year was consisted of seniors, mm-hmm. and you know they all left this year. So um, uh, I just went ahead and like tried out for president, and he was like, "I mean, you're president by default because <laughs> you're the only person that you know has been with the FBLA team for the past couple years." So yeah, and it's it's hard because you know. You're trying to juggle leading FPLA with like all the AP classes you take in junior year, but yeah, yeah. How do you manage that time? Uh, <laughs> actually, I, like, I feel like I don't contribute enough to FPLA because you know, um, like I'm so focused on my studies right now, and I I even thought about you know possibly giving up my position because. It, it was just too much for me, and I felt like I wasn't leading the team as well. Um, but then, I don't know, like, I still have some time to think about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, yes. it's really hard to juggle, actually, so that's my answer. Sometimes when you have a lot of things on your plate, it is good to let some things go. Yeah. And I totally agree with you, because this year I had to let go of one of my classes. Um, in order to um, achieve something else. Yeah. So if you are hesitating on certain issues like that, just go ahead and do it. Um, so FBLA, I'm guessing, ha- it, it really didn't have any impact on your life um, that much? Well, like, now that I kind of know that I want to go into business, business, um, yeah, I guess, like, it's important. It's still important to me because, you know, I, I think it'll help me... Be successful in life, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that FBLA versus robotics. Which one had a more impact, a better impact on you? Um. Oh, I don't know. I guess like I like robotics better because it's just something completely different, something I've never done before. So, yeah. Like I, I like I enjoy being in robotics. So you yeah. choose robotics over. Yeah. Well, I'm in like the business team for. Yeah, robotics, for robotics. So, so I guess it's like you know best of both worlds, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so your junior year, um, we jumped onto your junior year, right? Mm-hmm. Um, how has been your social life? Uh. In terms of like good friends and stuff, <clears throat> have, like if you are a high schooler there must be a, like a gossip that's going around about you and there there might be some troubles with your friends and i would like to talk about that um well i mean we don't really get into any kind of disagreements as much i guess um you know we're just i guess if anything we don't talk as much as before because we're all kind of busy with our you know academic life and um, but yeah, I guess like you know, my social life, eh, it was like kind of ab- around here down to like maybe here. <laughs> so. <laughs> and and did that impact your uh confidence, or are you still just confident? Uh, it's like it's like whatever to me. So you know, I'm just trying to focus on my studies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have a uh, procrastination really hurt you in high school? <laughs> Yeah, because, like, I don't really sleep that much these days, so... Because of procrastination? Yeah. And do you procrastinate a lot? <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, a lot. Like, this is my schedule when I get home. When I get home after school, uh, from, like, 2 to 3, I eat. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> so you eat for an hour. Yeah. Eat, watch TV, relax. Uh-huh, yeah. And then, from 3... Until, you know, maybe around 8, I sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap. Yeah. And um, when I wake up, I eat more because I need to eat dinner. Yeah. And then I play until maybe like 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and then at 10 o'clock, I just do everything. Just do everything. <laughs> I just, do everything. Just everything. Until like, you know, the next morning. <laughs> And then so. you come to school and you're yeah. like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and then the schedule repeats. Yeah. So would you like to change that? Yeah. And what yeah. would you do to make that change? Um, 
I guess cut my eating time and my sleeping time after school and my play time. <laughs> so yeah, and then I can get all my homework done from three to like uh-huh. ten. So on your play time, you just yeah do social media stuff mm-hmm. and post all that mm-hmm. tweets. Yeah. 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 Tumblr stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, also you also like to make funny faces on <laughs> take when when taking pictures. Uh-huh. Why why is that? Um, cause it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. Why? What do you, you have mean? to admit, it's pretty funny. It, it's <laughs> funny, but I, I don't know. It's just something I do. Like I'm tired of having the same face like this. Mhm. So I want to do something different. Something different. Yeah. So you think uh, those pictures, those funny pictures, make the moment more special? Mhm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was. Very interesting. That's very interesting. And everyone has a different, interesting yeah. life. And we have discovered and digged up your life literally today. And um, you're you're single currently. And are you looking for any relationships right now? Just like friend, but like boyfriend kind of relationship. Someone that you can that can support maybe, you. Maybe. Maybe. And yeah. would you like to leave a message for that for the person that you like? Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, uh, uh, <laughs> um, I, I have nothing to say, sorry. Is he, sorry. Is he, is he Asian? Yeah. White? No, wait, Asian. Wait, Can't be just... white. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, so if you're an Asian boy and you have interest in Grace, just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We have explored your life, and what what is your future dream? Um, just to be successful. Success. No matter where I go, what I do, what well, I become. That's a success is such a odd term because you know it, it differs. It varies oh, from okay. person to person. So um, successful in something that I love to do. If that makes more sense. So you want to so, make a lot of money or make a difference in the world? or? Uh, I guess just be satisfied. Make enough money to be, you know, live, live, satis- live, you know, just the way, just the ideal way of oh, living. Okay. And uh, how many kids would you like to have? <laughs> That's an odd question. Hmm. But your Maybe parents might be watching two. this. So. Maybe two. <laughs> two kids. All right. So, uh, last but not least, would you like to leave a message to your loved ones, to uh, anybody that you that are special to you, um, your mom and dad, your family, anything? Um, I love all my friends and family, and my parents especially. And um, thank you for doing this. This interview is a lot of fun, um, and yeah, I, I'm gonna say hello to my doggy, even though she's probably like sleeping or something, <laughs> or pooping. <laughs> or pooping. All right, I'm so clean it up later. we have interviewed Grace Kim today, the president of FBLA Club, and she has various interests in various um, fields and she is a very successful student in Battlefield High School. She procrastinates a lot but she gets things done. Um, It was a great interview. Um, Thank you for letting us use this amazing house. Uh, Thank you for everything and I hope we didn't get to finish the popcorn. Uh, That's kind of sad but I hope you finish this delicious popcorn. It is for you. And I will see you guys in PhD Podcast 5, where we interview a person you know. Bye-bye. You gotta do them. (laughs) Bye. Alright, thank you.